yeah airbnb big thumbs down unfortunately but we'll just crack on with the holiday you know we've got other things to worry about in life Good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to sunny Spain. It is a glorious day here today in Andalusia. Yeah, we've got an action-packed video coming up. We chat about all about the Airbnb debacle from a couple of days ago. We've just checked into our new place, which is uh, just behind us here. And yeah, then we'll be heading up into the mountains, which you can see here. Uh, yeah, first of getting some epic sort of trail runs in, getting in a big load of elevation. And yeah, finally, do you want to come around for dinner? Because we're cooking dinner tonight. I see a sky with a rain cry, but I'm not running. I see a train moving all too fast, but I'm not leaving. And you go round and round and round when you cannot see. Oh, right guys, so yeah, you join us about 8k into the run we climbed about 390-ish meters so far all sort of up and down and undulating but yeah look how amazing the views are out here over the mountains just glorious to be back out in Spain so the future of the channel well it's really kind of kicked off quite a lot last year and just gonna carry on with that so I know how much you guys really enjoy all the in-race footage and we're gonna have a lot more of that we're gonna be racing a lot more this year I'm gonna have three key races that the year is built around and so we won't be able to film actually in those but in all the others we'll take the cameras along uh yeah so we've got comrades in valencia and there will be one other main key goal race but no reason why we can't take the camera and the gopro and all of the other races and then some more review videos but more reviews that are sort of part of daily vlogs of daily life to see bring you guys what it's like behind the scenes uh, with what's going on in life because yeah those videos they're never gonna get the most views in the world but I think people like to see sort of that sort of daily aspect into what's going on so try and get some more daily vlogs out there a little bit like you've seen in the past few days now I'm not gonna be one of those people that says oh yeah I'm gonna be doing a video every day and do that that will absolutely break me we do a lot of other things in the business outside of YouTube but we're really trying to work on about three or four videos each week all good stuff I'd rather put out really good quality videos rather than just putting stuff out for the sake of putting a video out Yeah, I want to do some meetups as well so you guys can come on some runs and yeah we're trying to organize at the moment a little minor announcement a run camp as well uh, yeah so just going through the detail of that speaking to some other experts in the field to try and get some um, of them involved in it and then what we will have a lot more of on the channel is some dedicated running tips videos so sort of how to improve your 10k how to improve your marathon those type of things how to improve like you saw with the cadence and the stride length those type of videos just dedicated sort of things standing in front of the camera giving you guys some advice and some tips there'll be some more cooking stuff i always feel a bit weird with the whole cooking things but because i'm not a dietitian i don't have any qualifications in that area but they'll just be sort of what i eat in a day type things and people can take from that what they want and yeah sort of finally want to do some more meetups around some of the key races that we're doing so london marathon give you guys a chance to come along ask some questions and that sort of thing oh uh, yeah you know i've always been really passionate about not having any sort of dedicated sponsors or we'll do our own sort of things not attached to any sort of brands of meetups and things like that yeah just want to meet more of you guys out there you guys support the channel you buy some merch you share it with your friends and do all that sort of stuff and just want to give a little bit back to meet people out face to face Woo! the future of the channel in 2019 uh, really 
every 2019, 2020. Really excited to bring you some more tips and tricks and help improve your running. That is what it is all about. Right guys, so I know a few of you will ask about these sunglasses. These are just from a company called uh, Good R. Uh, I think they're an American company, but you can buy them in the UK now. Super, super cheap. That's why I have them. They're about 20 to 25 pounds. I think I got these for 20 pounds. guys quick little pop quiz who knows the name of these little markers that you see there's one there there's one just over here normally made well always made by people put them out to mark trails normally out of the mountains do you know the name put it down in the comments I'll pick some at random to win one of the new wraps little fun little thing there put it down in the comments <laughs> amazing views but yeah time to crack on so yeah i just thought i'd give you a few really quick fire tips for people that look to get into some trails maybe this year maybe that's your resolution so the first one back to back long runs so maybe for a lot of people that might be getting out for a long run on saturday and then a long run again on sunday or however you structure your week really good getting running on tired legs uh, yeah for when you're out in the back end of these races uh do, do as much as you can practice running on similar terrain to the course so if you maybe you've got a race on the south downs try and get to the south downs or find something that's going to mimic that that's why we're out here training for Grand Canaria. we can't get this type of trail anywhere in the uk so we've come out to practice out here if you run if your race is going to be going through the night practice running at night really important to do to get used to it but the same if your race starts early in the morning maybe four or five o'clock in the morning as you try on cape town do some runs that start at that time of day as well yeah a lot of these races you're going to have to have mandatory gear and uh yeah you sort of get a lot of new gear as well so yeah practice running in it practice familiarize yourself with it with mandatory gear don't just buy the cheapest naffest thing you can find you might well need that in an emergency situation and then you'll be wishing you've got some good quality stuff out there so yeah things like waterproofs and all of that sort of stuff get the best thing that you can afford obviously and of course guys how can i get the best tip out there the number one tip the one i recommend more than anything else is giving yourself a Ben Parks hat because on hot days which races normally are in the summer you can come across beautiful streams like this get your hat dunked in the in the water back on we don't need a bridge we can jump across and carry on with the run so yeah best tip in the world get yourself a Ben Parks hat you'll be fast look good and super cool so I'd recommend reading some race uh, blogs or race vlogs on YouTube, people that have done it before. Trail runners that don't half love talking about their races, writing reports, really just to help other people out that are doing the race as well. So go and do some research, see what they say, see, what they, see what's tough, see what's bad, see what it's like, registration, where to stay, all that sort of thing. Do your research way before choosing your and race. Yeah, if you're looking for some companies, I really like the Race 2 series in the UK. So Race to the Stones, Race to the Tower, Race to the King, really good really good for first timers i really recommend it and also maverick as well really good races uh, slightly shorter distances so maybe like 10k half marathons that sort of thing really good trail races to get you in there's loads of other companies down there you know if you want to promote your company or one you like look down in the, put it down in the comments wow look at this view here look at this amazing and finally a couple of last tips you've really got to nail your race nutrition uh especially in ultras you're going to need some well for the vast vast majority of people going to need some proper food out there so do some research find out what the a stations are giving out and practice with that sort of thing as well if you can have a crew out there practice with the type of meals you want them to be giving you and yeah you've really got to work out because you're not just going to have to fuel it oh, most um, ultras just on sort of gels alone that you might be used to doing in your regular road marathons hopefully there's some tips there as i always say feel free to put your own tips down in the comments people might read those i've probably left loads of stuff out it's just stuff that's coming to my head as i'm trotting along through the hills today right we'll see you in a bit these 
beautiful olive trees here. Gonna make some very nice olive oil. We'll be having that on our dinner table later. And of course you couldn't be in southern Spain. I can't reach. But look at those beautiful oranges. I saw some nice lemon trees earlier as well. Drink a lot of orange juice in my run. That's what these bottles are filled with. Well, orange juice and water, I admit. Hi right, guys, so that is the run done. Glasses off, Casey Neistat. <laughs> I am not. Uh, yeah, what do we got? 20.7K, couple of hours, 940 meters climb, uh, 553 pace. So yeah, all on Strava. Really enjoyed that. I mean, it was tough, I'm not gonna lie. You know, tough, tough on the legs, but we got out there, we do it. We have lost a lot of, not a lot, a little bit of fitness over the last uh, couple of months or so. Because yeah, just been taking it easy to get cracking with this year. And that starts now. Let's get back home and cook up some food and dinner. I'm not sure what we're gonna have. We're gonna stop at the supermarket on the way. Oh God, it was tough out of there tough out there on the trails today. Just been a long time since we've been doing that sort of thing. But yeah, gonna cook some dinner. So uh, yeah, basically just gonna make a big bowl of pasta, chucking loads of veggies in. So we've got tomatoes, courgettes, peppers, olives, mushrooms, sun-dried tomato, onions, and uh, yeah, a load of chickpeas in there as well. Yeah, just trying, we, me and Sarah, we cook so many dishes where it's just like, just throwing, cramming as much veggies into these sort of dishes as you can get. And you'll see a lot of this coming up on the channel, soon with some next, some of our next videos with the top of the other <laughs> So just chopped up this massive uh, sort of plate of veggies, looks amazing. And then yeah, just put some garlic and onions into the pan and then just chuck all of these in. Or get most of it in. I'm trying to deal with uh, like Airbnb type gear. So really blunt knives, awful chopping boards and all that sort of thing. Small pans, haven't got all your stuff at home, but you know, it's, it's all pretty, so much better than like staying in hotels and things when we're away because we can cook our own meals, which is what this is all about. Right guys, so I've just <laughs> forgotten to put the chickpeas in. So I already put the tomato sauce in, but yeah, we're gonna get those in now. It doesn't really matter, they'll just cook through in the moisture there. But yeah, as um, I was sort of saying before, a lot of what we cook are these sort of big sort of batch meals. And then yeah, no doubt me and Sarah will have this for our lunch tomorrow as well and just sort of cook that way so you've always got something sort of healthy ready to go right we're going to let this simmer down and get some garlic bread in the oven and, and get some salad on the table and yeah we're going to put some pasta in the water now as well and then mix it all up and then we've got a whole plate of veggie goodness to uh, help us recover from our run today so yeah, we'll see you at the table in a bit Dinner time, finally gonna get some of this really good food down us. So yeah, um, yeah, it's obviously not the easiest thing to follow along to, but we'll have lots more stuff like that coming up on the channel in the future. Maybe Sarah can serve this while I have a chat, because yeah, we're super starving after that massive run today. So yeah, thanks very much for following guys. Hope you got something, this might be a bit steamy. Hope you got something useful out of the video today. Always let me know down in the comments what is going on in your world, what, what's new, what's happening, what races are you doing? Always love to hear, hear what's new for you. So that's it guys, thank you to the Patreon supporters, everybody out there buying hats. The website's been going crazy over the last few days, so thank you so much, it means the world to us. And yeah, Patreon, like, share with your friends and we'll see you. I'm not sure what's coming up next, but we've got lots of fun things, so maybe some track, race, track workouts as well from Spain. So yeah, that's it guys. We'll see you in the next...